Welcome back to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and this is the Strive Skipjack. Looking at the Strive Skipjack, designed and shaped by John Henderson, Strive Surfboard, Santa Cruz, California. Knowing uh, the Strive lineup, like we've, we've talked about the, uh, the big bully and the bully, and we've also talked about the classic fish. And uh, when you pull this board off the rack, you immediately go, man, this board looks like a cross between a lot of the design characteristics of the classic fish. Uh, which stems from like a Steve Liss uh, twin fin fish. Uh, combined with the bully and the big bully, a lot of like the stretch pug influence of the board. So looking at this thing, uh, you know, it does have a more of a bullet nose, but it's fairly full in the foil through that nose. Uh, and then it also has a swallow tail, a lot like the uh, classic fish, but obviously not as extreme. So it's pulled in, it's pulled in like where the classic fish would kind of go more like this. This is pulled in a little bit more and has more of a conservative swallowtail, but again, wider and thicker through the tail than a standard swallow. So that's kind of where the, you got the classic fish influence. Where you have the pug influence is it's got uh, obviously uh, a concave bottom where a typical fish would just have a flat bottom with V in the back. It's got more rocker. You can see definitely more nose rocker right here. And then it's gonna have more tail rocker as well. Last but not least, uh, it's got a five fin setup, which is definitely you know, more of a hybrid style fin setup than uh, like a classic fish would either be a twin fin or a quad, uh, quad fin setup. So this board, what, what is taking all those design elements and putting into one board gonna do? Like is, is there any kind of hope or reasoning behind it. I think with uh, with this board, what you're going to get out of it is you're going to get the maneuverability of having rocker, you're going to get the speed of having concave, uh, but with having that extra foam is going to, one, give you some forgiveness. So if you mess up a turn and you need some foam to keep you up on top of the water, it's going to do that. And it's also going to have the glide that you wouldn't have in a much thinner, lower volume board. So you're going to get the glide and you're going to get the ability to get out on smaller days. And that, that comes a lot from that classic fish that goes into this board, but you are gonna have um, more rocker to be able to fit in the pocket, whereas like a classic fish would be too flat for that part of the wave. Generally, like size per size, these are gonna be lower volume, so you wanna size this up from a classic fish. Um, but it's gonna be a great short board to cover a big range of conditions. Uh, it could be a very good single short board that's gonna grovel all the way up to overhead surf. Uh, somebody's first short board would be a great board for that. Um, a good travel board as well, unless you're gonna be getting into absolutely dealing surf. Uh, a great board that you could just basically point at a map and say, I wanna go surf there and take this board and you know it's gonna work for most conditions. Uh, run it either quad or tri-fin. The quad is gonna be faster uh, down the line covering more more speed, more sections, making more sections that the tri-fin can't. The tri-fin is gonna be better coming off the bottom to the top and releasing off of the top. So it's nice whether you prefer one or the other or whether you like to tune your board to one or the other to have those options. All of uh, the skipjacks have a sanded uh, finish, keeps the board nice and light. <clears throat> and they come with a bunch of different sprays, the solid on the bottom and, and some abstract sprays on the top. The Strive Skipjack out of Santa Cruz, California, John Henderson, designed and shaped.